Now, I'm day two, and I'm in a very delightful environment with the gorgeous man himself, Dave Smith. Gorgeous. And we, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. Oh. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, and we're going to look at the Pro 3. But before I do that, I've got a little something for you. All the way from England, from close to where I'm from, is this 18th century chocolate bar made by Fry's. Well, by royal appointment. For is you, it from sir. the 1800s? It is. It was that's, made that's, in the 1800s? It was. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. Awesome. Enjoy that. I will. <laughs> but we're not to talk about chocolate. We're not here to talk about chocolate. We're here to talk about synthesizers. Yes. Well, one synthesizer in particular with two different variants, I believe. Yes. This is the Pro 3. Uh, everybody knows we did the Pro 1 That's right. back in the 80s. It Guilty. was an awesome, awesome synth that everybody used, lots of recordings, very popular today, still popular. Yeah. Uh, a few years ago in Dave Smith Instruments, we did the Pro 2, which was not a Pro 1, but it was kind of the evolution of such. And now we have the Pro 3, which is not a Pro 2 Mark II. It is a new instrument, and yeah. it has, of course, some commonality, but it's a different yeah. new sound. Uh, it's just an awesome synth. Yeah, I I like the fact that you've got a hinged version. Yes, we that have the special the... edition and we have the standard edition. Yeah. So you can kind of pick. This one's kind of the sexy, cool looking Ooh, one. Definitely is. Uh, <laughs> but then if you want to save some money and maybe that one's a little bit more rotable. Yeah. Uh, just because it's smaller, you stick it in a backpack, so, whatever. I'll tell you so. Hammond. Yeah. <laughs> that one. Whereas this looks about the same size as my Pro 1. And it might yeah, fit maybe. in my studio really nicely. I'm pretty sure it would, <laughs> in more ways than one. Oh, yeah. let's, let's look at that more, more ways than one then. Let's yes. do that. Let's talk about what we've got. Well, we have three oscillators. We have two VCOs with continuous wave shapes and shape mod on each of the shapes. So, of course, all analog. But the third oscillator is something different. We, okay. uh, we added uh, a wavetable oh, uh, oscillator. So we have 32 sets and eight of 16 wavetables. Oh my goodness. And so, you know, let me just, uh, uh, let's Ooh. select That's... one. You know, oh, so for hello. example, uh, we have one of them. Uh, lots of variety. So this knob is sweeping between the 16 different wavetables continuously. Okay. And of course you can modulate I was that. Say, like, you must be able to modulate that, yeah. Yeah, if I wanted to say I'm gonna have the slider go to this knob, put on some amount. I mean, that's how easy it is to assign modulations Amazing. from anything to anything else. But you know, we could just keep going through. Love it. So that's kind of the oscillator section. Of course, you have external audio and noise. The filter section, this, <laughs> this is really awesome. We have, quickly selectable, we have the Prophet 6 filter. Yes. We have a classic ladder filter. Cool. And we have the OB6, uh, you know, state variable filter. Nice. Uh, so it's the only synth that I know out there where you can just pick which yeah. one do you want, which personality you want. So this thing just covers a ton of sonic territory. And with so, that wavetable, I mean, you've literally, you're mixing digital and analog in its best yes. environment, yeah, right? Yeah, so if you want to go classic, clean VCO, mm. sure. If you want to go only with this guy, I'll show you some things we could do with that. Excellent. Uh, yeah. You can do that and then mixing the two, of course. Yes. <laughs> uh, the sequencer is similar to the Pro 2, but we've improved it mostly for uh, the ability to just get in there quickly and nice. do things. Uh, let me uh, just go back to a, a real simple sound. So if yeah. I wanted to record a sequencer, I go record. And then I say play. That's how easy it is. Nice. I've got continuously variable swing. Nice. I could you know, do rest by just turning it off. I could do ties that easily. So I'll turn those all back on. If I want to have, a, we have 16 tracks. What do I, if I want to do a filter sweep? I just hit record and oh. it's that easy. If I want to do any other knob, if I want to do distortion, uh, you just hit record. That's simple. It's Intuitive. That's, simple. That's how you want it. I mean, you could do this stuff on the fly and you're all, you're all over it. Uh, so, you know, you could do 
too slow. You just turn it on and off. Uh, what? A million things I could show you. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So that's roughly But, but easy it. to use. What? I mean, but easy to use. Oh, that's the whole idea. This thing does so much, but you never have to think about doing right. it. So you could just start with any sound and see where it leads. You know, we have tuned feedback. We have dual digital effects. We have an analog distortion. Just a ton of stuff. But, you know, to give you some ideas, I'll play, you know, just two or three sounds. So That'd be amazing. Th yeah. This one's kind of fun. <laughs> Surprise. That is actually a wavetable where somebody said sequential, and then they broke each little piece of that word into a separate wavetable, and then you just sweep through the wavetables. Amazing. And then, but you know, that's what it says. So you think, well, that's cute, but it's kind of a useless sound. Well, you know, you can start doing all kinds of stuff to it, or play a sequence, and it sounds nothing like it. And I can go in. change filters. So it's just so Intense. flexible. So yeah. many, uh, you know, you could, I mean, listen to those cymbals and a hi-hat and stuff. And just go through. It's, I didn't mention it, it's a three voice or three oscillator paraphonic. Okay. So, you know. Come on. Uh, let's see, other things you could do a gated sequence where. Actually, feedback. It's not an oscillator. Okay. Or if you just want a real soft, it's go. It's fun to go. I like the hard yeah. stuff. You know, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, a little edge to it, but Definitely. you know. different sequences, each one 16 notes. This one uses all of them, so it's a 64 note yeah. sequence. But then again, you know, it's just so easy to... <laughs> Bringing that hot edge back. <laughs> I can go on for it. Yeah, but and I can that, I can listen to that forever. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's, we're just real happy with the way it came out. It's just got such a range of t tone. I mean, the three filters alone, but as I think you saw, yeah, it's all just really accessible. Well, it quick, is easy, easy to use, simple, and fun. Such depth, fun. And fun, fun, definitely. That's the important part. And you kept it quiet, so you didn't tell Jean-Michel Jarre then. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not He'll yet. find us. He'll find us eventually. He'll He'll, he's us. coming soon. <laughs> yeah, any minute now. So, price and availability? Uh, the special edition 2099 yeah. map, it'll be available uh, mid-February-ish. Okay, the sweet. standard version is only $15.99, okay. and we'll be shipping in a week or two. Okay. So this is this is now. Right. So I've got my wallet with me. Who do I okay. talk to about getting this done? <laughs> uh, you know, give me a little here. Yeah. 
literally got my wallet. I've given Dave Smith my wallet. He's not giving it back. He's not getting it back. That's all. <laughs> well, I am absolutely stoked about this product. Thank you. Um, I'm awarding this. Uh, Dr. Evil of the day, the awesome. award that I give, which is so awesome. It's evil. So. <laughs> okay. It's so evil. It's okay. Where is he? He's here, look. Oh, there he is. He's, he's, he's in the background. Okay. We should perhaps do the little. Mm -hmm.